Hi everyone, and welcome to this short video today where I'm going to be running through a system test for a proctored assessment. Now the system test is a really, really important um, part of a proctored assessment because what it allows you to do is test that the device that you're going to run the um, proctored assessment on is um, you know, in full working order and meets those technical specifications. So what we're going to do today is just run through that test. So before your assessment is due to take place, you'll receive an email from do not reply at epa.ncfe.org.uk with the subject line, please check that your computer is ready for your remotely invigilated exam. Um, now, you know, we have had reports of this email sometimes going into the junk folder. So if you are expecting to be doing a proctored assessment, do just check in the junk folder because it is, um, you know, the, this email does end up in the junk folder on occasion. So the main um, body of the email is just going to talk about how you due to sit the assessment, um, a link to perform system checks to ensure that the equipment's ready, and how to be assessment ready. So have photo ID ready because you are going to need to show that um, unless you don't have any ID, in which case um, speak to your training provider because there's a workaround that we can we can do with your training provider to make sure that we're able to identify you on the day. Um, and also make sure that you've reviewed the candidate quick guide, which is available on the NCSE endpoint assessment website. Um, you know, this just has a lot of these details in um, and it explains kind of the, the order of things that take place. So it also then goes on to explain what the recommended technical requirements are. So from kind of bandwidth, browser, webcam, through to the mobile device. So this is the second device, not the device that you take in the assessment itself on, but the mobile device that will be used as the second camera. So please note, um, the assessments don't support Chromebooks, um, Android tablets, iOS tablets, and Microsoft Surface. Now, with the iOS tablets, um, you can use that as the second camera, but you can't use that as the device itself that you take the assessment on. And um, so it's recommended that you don't take the assessment in a work environment or use a work laptop. And if it is necessary that you do either of those things, please speak to your IT team before that to make sure that you are um, able to access the assessment using those devices and as well run this system test on that on the device that you're going to be taking the assessment on in the setting that you're going to be taking the assessment on to make sure that that everything is um as it should be and then it also just explains um ensure that the wi-fi signal is um strong um, and a wired connection ensures a, a stable connection, which is really important. And sure you can connect your mobile device to Wi-Fi so you don't use up your data. And also make sure it can be placed at least three meters away, um, situated upright, and that it has um, enough charge. So make sure that it's either plugged in or, or fully charged and ready. And then, you know, the email explains that on the day, if you've got any technical issues, you can contact an online support agent by using the live chat function. So what I'm going to do now is just click that test your equipment now. That's going to load it there. And then we've got troubleshooting information just here and requirements just here. I went in and had a little look earlier. So that's why those two are ticked. If I click next, we'll start again just so that you're able to see everything. So actually, as I was talking there, it tested my microphone. So that's ready and it works. Now I click next. So I can hear that sample music. So I can click yes and next. Now it's going to ask me to check the um, stable internet connection. Let's just close that little pop up. So what I'm going to do is just go there, look for speed test. And this is just any, any internet speed test systems will work. So then if you hit go, that's going to have a look at what your, um, your speed tests are and the speed of your internet. So that's just going to load up, fire up, and there we go. And then once it's um, done the whole test, you'll get a result at the end. So you'll need a decent and stable internet connection with a minimum of uh, one Mbps upload speed. So that's really, really important. So once 
um, you go through that test, just make sure that that you are within that um, that bandwidth requirement. So now it's going to check the webcam. It can see me there. So now what you're going to have to do is download the Proctor Exam mobile app um, from the App Store of whichever um, kind of device that you're using. I've got an iPhone, so it's on the Apple Store, just called Proctor Exam. You download that, and essentially you can use your phone to scan the QR code on the page. There we go. The camera switched on. So there we can see um, that my camera is working. And this is the camera that will be used as that second um, second camera that you can place three meters away that's able to, to watch you in addition to your, your webcam. Then if we press next, share your entire screen. So if I click that one, there we go. So now the screen's being shared as well. So there we go, we've registered for the exam and now we can close the page. So that was the, the whole of the system test. Um, I hope that you found that really, really useful. What will happen now is um, before your assessment, you'll receive another email, which I'll just load up now. That's just loading. You receive another email with the title, here is the link for your exam, and it will come from the same, uh, same place. And you know, it just includes welcome to your online invigilated exam, how to be assessment ready and a link there to launch the exam. Um, I'll cover off the launching of an assessment in um, another video, but for now, I hope that you found that really, really useful, that system test, and um, good luck with your assessment. Thanks.